For the first time ever, Fox actually had a show with a brilliant concept. Unfortunately, it was underutilized and turned into a mediocre series called Prison Break. Prison Break is a show about an eidetic genius named Michael Schofield trying to break his brother out of prison. To do this, he gets himself thrown behind bars. The story as a whole is full of many highs and lows. Its uneven writing led to only four seasons before the show was cancelled. The show's concept demands a brisk pace, and Prison Break tends to deliver. Dare I say it, it's actually exhilarating to watch. Unfortunately, it also has some very slow paced scenes, as well as some that weren't necessary at all. This is but one reason why the show never quite lives up to its potential. It fails to fully immerse the viewer. In addition, it's full of implausible scenarios that are so over the top that they're unbelievable. Not only does it fail to captivate its audience, but it makes us out to be morons who don't understand how real life events should play out. This never allows you to get fully engaged with the story, and it only gets worse from season to season. I'd like to say that Prison Break's cast make up for most of the shortcomings of the story, but they don't. Wentworth Miller plays Michael Schofield. He pulls his character off decently well, and though he fails during some of the more emotional moments, he improves with every season. Dominic Purcell plays Lincoln Burroughs, and just like Michael, he doesn't deliver during the moments he needs to. Judging their performances, one could swear that they're brothers. Hmm. As for the romance, Michael does have some chemistry with the love interest, Dr. Sarah Tancredi, played by Sarah Wayne Callies. Unfortunately, her acting is the worst of all for every season. These actors seem to have a knack for mediocrity. Alright, alright, let me just skip everyone else and we'll call it a- I'm gonna kill you! Holy shit! Teabag, played by Robert Nepper, was absolutely brilliant. Not only did he easily slip into the role of his character from the first episode, but the way his acting developed as the character did is unmatched by any actor I've seen on the small screen. In addition, Alex Mahone, played by William Fish... Fishner... Fickner... Oh my fuck. ...was equally as brilliant. When you discover more about his character's backstory, his emotions really pull the show towards a solid conclusion. Together, these actors easily light up the small screen. I would even go as far as saying that Teabag and Alex are played by actors that would easily make one of my top 10 lists. This is what blew me away. The quality is a lot higher than it is with other shows on Blu-ray. The audio was great for the most part too. Only one season felt a little bit too quiet. Prison Break also sports an outstanding main theme. However, I wasn't a fan of how French subtitles would appear at the beginning of every episode. Thankfully, this was made up for by the use of practical effects versus CGI. If the rest of the show was on the same level as the presentation, Prison Break could have been one of the greatest series on TV. Unfortunately, the lack of cohesion in the plot and the mediocrity of most of the actors won't allow it to be what it should have been. Amazing, Prison Break gets a 6 out of 10. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All the links for those can be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big button over there. And while you're at it, why not click that email checkbox so that our videos don't get buried with all the other channels you're subscribed to. I'm Zach. And I'm Kyle. And we're, we're Battlefront, Battlefront Productions. Productions. Really? You mean the subscribe button bigger than us? Well, it is prettier than us. <laughs>